Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the date time from string node. Technically, we have two nodes here. We have a date time from string and a date time from ISO string. These are nodes that allow us to take a string in the proper format and convert them over to a date time object type. Now, this one's a little complicated simply because there are proper formatting and some things like that that you need to keep in mind. This is useful if you need to store a date and a time in a text format, maybe on a server or a save game, and then be able to bring it back up and then put it into a date time for later use. Looking at our date time from string node, it seems pretty simple. We have 01, 01, 2018. Here, let me zoom in a little bit. And then 11.30 p.m. We'll go ahead and convert that into a date time and print it out. And we'll go ahead and look at it. And now when we look at it, well, we actually, we don't get a valid date time. We get the year one, the date one, the month one, and then zero for the time. The date time string needs to be in the proper format. It's not going to accept month, day, year. It's going to want year, month, day, as we can see here. Now, if you look at this one, this one's actually weirdly formatted. But if I run it and we look at it, it actually came out okay. 2018. 0502, 0530 for the time. Now let's take a look at this. You don't have to use the same separator when you're using your date time. I found minus sign, the colon, and the period all work fine as separators. However, I would recommend trying to find some form of a standardized format, maybe going with the period because that's what the output uses. And the way this is formatted is you have your year month day and then a separator and then you have your time now you notice this says 05300 pm but if we were to run this and look at it it's going to show 05300 am and pm does not do anything so if we go back to here we could remove this pm completely it's not going to do anything it needs it in the standard 24-hour format 1530 for example and we were to check it out our output time is going to be 1530 so keep that in mind what I meant by the same format, if you look on the screen, it says current value equals. That's a kind of the standardized output format. So maybe use that as the input format. The other node is the from ISO string node. If we look at it, it tells us it takes it from a ISO 8601 format and converts it into a date time object. And this one's nice to know because it gives us the time zone as part of the ob, well, not the object, the time zone as part of the string when we create the object. Keep in mind, our date time object is going to be in UTC 0, so that's important to keep in mind. Let's look at this. Let's go ahead and at the end here, the plus 0500 that I had there is now plus 0000. This is our offset in an ISO 8601 format. We have the date object, T indicating time, the time in 24 hour, and then the offset. So if we were to output this and look at it, we're going to get what we expect here. We have the date, we have 1553 is the time, and that's it. Well, that's because we didn't have an offset in there. Let's say we are actually, let's go with five hours ahead. It makes it easy to do the math. So my offset is going to be plus five. We run this again. When it converts this over to the date time object, our actual output time is going to be 1053, not 1553. It's because we have a five hour offset, and when it converts to the date time from the ISO string, it's going to go ahead and apply that offset for us when we store it as the date string. So that's something to keep in mind. That node's useful if maybe you're storing this information out to a server that's in a central location and you don't want to worry about time zones causing issues. Store it out in a standardized format, maybe UTC 0, or this gives you the ability to take the information from a local user, maybe somewhere else, convert it over properly, allow them to put in their own information, pull in records from other places. This is just a nice way of working with strings and turn them into date times and that's it those are our date time from string nodes